So, good day everyone. Today, I am about to give a brief discussion about the history of swimming, of how it is being developed from time to time, and have come up with the swimming that we have today. So, to start, um, let me first define what is swimming. Swimming in recreation and sports is the propulsion of the body through water by combined arm and leg motions and the natural flotation of the body. Also, another definition of swimming states that it is an exercise that is popular as an all-around body developer and is particularly useful in therapy as an exercise for physically handicapped person. So, swimming in terms of physical health is very useful. It's because um, swimming, in swimming, you are making your muscles move, muscles from your arms uh, down to your feet. And also, na improve yung yung cardiovascular health ng isang tao na nagsuswimming. Since uh, matagal siya nakalublog and proper breathing is very important in swimming. So, yun. And aside from that, uh, swimming is also taught um, in order to save lives. Like sa rescue mission, if yung victim is nasa aquatic, is on an aquatic environment just like pools or rivers or lakes and kailangan siyang i-rescue so doon nagagamit or na-utilize yung, yung swimming in terms of helping people. So that's it for the definition of swimming and now let's proceed to the history. History of swimming, swimming can be dated back to the stone age but did not truly really became organized sport until the early 19th century. So yun, siguro dati ginagamit itong swimming uh, ng mga sinaunang tao in terms of, of crossing a lake or river or to catch fish. So yun. And this was discovered by experts uh, because of the sightings of, of uh, carved paintings sa uh, cave. Uh, wherein it shows ano yung yung tao na nagsuswimming and these carved paintings were found in Egypt also swimming was referred to Greek mythology next is the dawn of a sport swimming was not widely practiced until the early 19th century when the National Swim Society of Great Britain began to hold competitions most early swimmers used the breast stroke or a, or a form of it. Archaeological and other evidence shows swimming to have been practiced as early as 2500 BCE in Egypt and thereafter in Assyrian, Greek, and Roman civilizations. And during the 17th century, an imperial edict had made the teaching of swimming compulsory in schools. So, because of this imperialist, naging, kumbaga, nasali sa curriculum yung yung swimming so next during the 1837 the first swimming organization was formed in London having six indoor pools with diving boards next is on 1869 the Metropolitan Swimming Clubs of London was founded ultimately became the Amateur Swimming Association the governing body of British amateur swimming next is on 1882 to 1889. National swimming federations were formed in several European countries in the 18th century. Organized swimming events were held before Japan was opened to the Western world. So during this era, organized swimming is I already exist. Now, mas nauna pa siya kaysa nung time na, na open yung Japan sa Western world just like USA etc. Next is on 90s, the game's swimming events were held on the same river in France. A 200 meter obstacle race involved climbing over a polo and a line of boats and swimming under them. Such oddities disappeared after FINA took charge. Under FINA regulations for both Olympic and other world competition, race lengths came increasingly to be measured in meters and in 1969, world records for yard measured races were abolished. And on 1909, the Federation International Denotation Amateur or FINA was founded. Since we have mentioned earlier about FINA, 
FINA is the international organization recognized by the International Olympic Committee or IOC for administering international competition in water sports. It is one of several international federations which administer a given sport of discipline for IOC and international community. It is based on Lausanne, Switzerland. So next to that is competitive swimming. Internationally, competitive swimming came into prominence with its inclusion in the modern Olympic Games from their inception in 1896. Olympic events were originally only for men, but women's events were added in 1992. Before the formation of FINA, the Games included some unusual events. So just a short trivia about the history of swimming. The man who first discovered swimming was John Arthur Trajan wherein he picked up the handover stroke from South American natives he observed swimming on a trip to Buenos Aires. On his return to England in 1968, he successfully debuted the new stroke in 1873 and won a local competition in 1875. And lastly, for the instructions and training, the earliest instruction programs were in Great Britain in 19th century. Both for sport and for life saving. Those programs were copied in the rest of Europe. In the United States, swimming instruction for life saving purposes began under the auspices of the American Red Cross in 1916. So that's it for our short um, discussion about the history of swimming. I am Christian JJ Gregorio. Sign